Hey Meatling, Sausage here, and welcome to the first episode of the Science Lab Survival Series. Uh, last episode, you may have seen, um, we finished the lab. Um, if you didn't see me finish the lab, before I drop any spoilers, apart from that major sign there, uh, there'll be a link on the description, uh, link in the description to take you there. And also, there should be an annotation in the top left of the screen, if I remember that. Uh, click that, and it'll take you to the episode previous where I finished the laboratory. Right, uh, for those of you that didn't click that to go back there because you've already seen it or you're not really bothered, here's a quick glance at what we've got. Let's get the hood back up. So, yeah, um, I have put on a few extra mods. I learned how to do that now. I watched a few uh, wikis, and uh, not wikis, YouTube videos, so I have Optifine, as you can see. Uh, the iron blocks have all blended together to make a giant sheet metal wall. So, yeah, so um, this is it, guys. This is me finally starting the survival. Which is fantastic so yeah uh, nothing's changed inside much um, the only thing that's really different is the floor here is all blended together which looks nice it didn't do it with that one unfortunately and uh, didn't do it in here uh, as you can see we still have cake and companion cube I will need to move those I didn't do it in here or in this one either so yeah there's not really much change to the textures but other than that everything's the same so um, Let's go and get started. Um, I have no idea where to begin. God, this land is huge. Okay, I guess first we need to start getting some wood. So let's go and do that. Oh, chicken. We need some chicken for food. So let's get some food. We need some food to start, I guess. Um, I'm going to try and make this as interesting as possible because the first few episodes of any survival before you start getting into the nitty gritty stuff is just gathering stuff so I'll make it as entertaining as I possibly can now I'm not sure how entertaining that will be exam exactly so I shall get some chicken for later where are you chicken? chicken! come here you clucking there we go so yeah uh, we'll go over into the jungle first because there's just so many trees why not? why not hey? right here we are, the jungle. Da, 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 da. Okay, we'll get some cocoa beans while I'm at it. You never know, might need them eventually. Smashing these. Um, I am not sure what difficulty this is on actually. Let me check. It's on peaceful. We don't want that. We want it on normal. Now I'm gonna at least get baddies spawning, so everything should be fine now. Um, I, I don't know if I need new chunks for the new mods I added but there was a mod pack that I got off of the um, interwebs and it added a whole bunch of other mobs, uh, mods that the uh, Yogs cast have in their Yogcraft so because I noticed that some of them are pretty cool so yeah um, ones that it doesn't have are the extra food things that they have like the mutton and stuff purely because you have to change some of the item IDs uh, because it interferes a lot but there are a few extras um, I would like to get a few more on as well. That might be handy. Right. Uh, I'm going to go straight into some mines. I won't show you me hacking away at the trees because that's just, that, in my opinion, that's way more boring than. Um, oh, what am I trying to say here? Words fail me. It's more boring than um, going into some mines because at least you have something to explore in them. Right. Bang. Bang. Okay, I uh, need some more wooden planks quickly because I need to make a whole bunch of things. Give me that back. Okay, let's do this quick then. Boom. Uh, we need that and that. We need a pickaxe to get started on the stone. And I think we will need... I don't know. Let's just get started on the stone. Uh, let's see. There's some stone over here. We may want the crafting bench. Nah, I forgot that. We may want this... Where is it? There it is! Ha ha! We may want this crafting bench. So yeah, um, thanks for all the feedback on the finished lab. It look, it might, it looks fantastic, so it's brilliant. I'm happy about that. Uh, I got some really good feedback about that. People liked it. Uh, there will be another Let's Build series. Don't panic about that. I'm just trying to think... I'm just trying to get something... A suggestion that really grabs me. Something that is out of the norm. I mean, people have suggested do it at a farm, some have said a giant castle, but they're things that are usually done, like normally done, and I've built those many of times myself, and 
yes, as much as they look great and everything, it's not really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something different. I mean, you don't see any, many people build science labs. So, something that's different would be nice. I don't know, like a giant pirate ship. Now, that would be extremely difficult, so I probably won't be doing that for a little while until I'm better at building. But so you, get the, you get the idea. Something that's not normally done. Something that is not going to be too difficult, but not too easy at the same time. I like a bit of a challenge, so... So, yeah. Um, keep your suggestions coming. Keep your maps for Minecraft Worlds coming. That would be fantastic, too. Um, I haven't checked the emails as of yet. Been a bit busy lately, so... Um, Hope you guys liked the EV video last night. We talked to the, um, what is it, the Exister woman again. She was funny. She really was funny. Um, I've noticed some of the comments people like that, so that's good. So, ooh, cold. I just noticed that in the corner of my eye. Haha! -ha! I need to try and find an open cave. That'd be handy. Oh, one piece of coal, you stingy bastards. Eh! Right, there's water there, I don't want to jump into that. So yeah, um, as I've said before, I'm going to start off with the forestry mod, because that really gets things started, uh, as it's great for power and everything, and it's, it's just a really good all-rounder from one to, to start with, really, and it's one that I haven't done very often. I mean, I've done industrial craft and build craft and stuff, but don't worry, I will be going down those paths too. This, this uh, Let's Play is very much going to be pretty long. Yeah. And I'm already losing hunger. Great. More coal here. Right. Let's get digging. 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 And I'm terribly sorry if any of this is boring you to tears. I mean, I'd love to start getting onto the good stuff. You know, building the awesome machines, getting things all set up. You can't do that without materials. So, other than, like, sitting here trying to think of something to say to you, I don't really know what else to do. And this has a plenty more coal. So, this can be torches as well as fuel. Yay! At least I don't need to build a house. Got that one sorted. As a point, I do need to set a waypoint to that, otherwise I'm going to lose where the lab is. And that would be very, very bad. Oop, something's burning down there. Or something. That means there's lava there. Ah, ah, that means there could be a ravine. With the amount of creepers on the mini-map, I would suggest there is. So I might have to dig down there. We can come back to here. Right, let's see. Keeping tabs on the mini-map, and this pick's about to break. Poop. That's not good. Okay, let's make a few torches. That'll be eight. Not many, but I guess it'll do. Uh, make some more sticks. Make a sword. That'll be handy. And a couple of pickaxes to get through this stuff. We need some more iron, even though our giant lab is built out of the stuff. We can't really mine the walls because that would be cheating. So you guys can see. Dink. Staircase. Let's go. Now, let's see what we find. Hopefully, on the first attempt, we find a bunch of diamonds. That would be nice. Should have built a shovel, but who cares? Mining is so dull. It really is. <laughs> Well, it's not really dull as such. It's just like I've said uh, on your first few episodes, it gets fed. It gets pretty dull because it's just the same thing. Punch a block out the way. So what I'll do, actually, what might be a better idea is I shall um, jump to when and if I find a ravine. I mean, all the bads in the mini map would suggest there's something big down here. So I shall jump to when I find that and I shall follow these numbers as an indicator. So I'll see you in a sec. Okay guys, I've been digging for a little bit now and if you look on this map, um, you should be able to see a snaky thing in the middle there. We are pretty close to a giant ravine. So if I keep digging this way, we should be able to get there. And I like ravines because they are full. <laughs> they are full of good stuff. Amateur sneeze. But yes, I might cut that out. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, I haven't found it as of yet, as you can tell. But we're getting there. Uh, let's go. F let's go here. Getting plenty of stone. Though I don't know what I'll need that for. Um, 
I was thinking, when the first few machines that I need to get would be a macerator, because that would be nice, because that can double... That can double all of the, um... Materials that I get down here, so it means fewer trips. Okay, now we just need a spiral staircase down. And I can hear water over here, actually. So we'll go here. Uh, yeah, so if I get a macerator, that means fewer trips down into the mines because it doubles everything that I get, which will be fantastic. And uh, I'm also going to need... Um, oh, I can't think now. I'm going to need a few things. I, I'm going to want to set up a... Wow, two uranium. I need uh, iron for that. God damn it. So I shall remember where that is. Not that I'm ever going to need uranium for anything. I don't trust anything that involves uranium, it just usually explodes and dies and... Yay! Marble! We're near a cave! Finally! Let's have a look. Yes! Marble means cave. Usually. Iron. Fantastic. I hear a skeleton. I hear skeletons. Means we're near a cave. More iron. More... What was that one? That one is tin. Yay. Tin's good. Tin's useful for the batteries. And there's the cave. Yay. Right. Now I have to be super careful here, guys. We don't want to get ourselves killed. Because I don't have a bed. Okay. Um, did I leave? I left the crafting bench up there. Okay. Another jump cut. Okay, meatlings, we're back. Um, went back up and I built some more um, stone tools and stuff so that I'm all set for whatever is about to appear. I've noticed my hunger is getting a bit low, so let's set this up to how I like it. Um, what I will do is drop this here and um, form a makeshift entrance as such of sorts. Uh, ooh, I, I, I daren't step out there just because I know that there's some something lurking. Because I can hear spiders. Oh, I don't need you there, do I? I need something here. I can see lots of things I need to dig up, but I want to get my hunger th sorted first. Wow, that is very deep. Jeez. We are going to get plenty of things. So, let's see, if I do this, this, and use some of this marble, this can be like a mini, mini hub, so to speak, so that on the way back, um, before I go out into the mines, I can, um, if I need to cook some stuff up, like some iron maybe, if I need to, or some food, which would be nice, in fact, I could probably cook some iron and go with an iron pick, because that would be handy. So, yes. I shall make a furnace. There we go. Uh, let's throw a coal in there. And uh, that. Now I know coal can cook eight items with one piece of coal. So I'm try my best to be as efficient with it as I can. So as soon as these are done, I need to eat you. I should have killed some cows really because these aren't going to last. So rotten meat, that's my dinner of choice I guess. Um, come on, as soon as that's done, I will put in some iron. I oh, could actually get this one iron pick, which I'll only use on things that need iron pickaxe. There we go. Munch away. Ooh, munch away. <sighs> munch away. <laughs> Jeez. There we go. Now, my setup is usually that. That is my usual setup, because I have pickaxe, torch, and sword. So I can switch between the three easily. I don't usually tend to use anything other than that. Uh, I shall put my shovel after my food. Actually, no, I'll put it there. There we go. So while that's cooking the iron, let's get these. Some of these yummy crystals. Uh, Thunecraft is definitely something I'll be going down as well because it's very useful and it ties in very well with a lot of other mods. So Thunecraft is definitely something I'll be going down. I love the... Uh, mod itself, it's fantastic. I'm not brilliant at it. No one, no one said I was going to be brilliant at it. Um, but yeah, so 
There we go. Right, iron pickaxe. There we go. Right, I'll put that there. So now we have an iron pickaxe. Let the adventure begin. Ah, good start. Right, we have copper here. Copper's a good start. Uh, ooh. Skellington. Not good. Uh, what I'll do here then, guys, is the adventure could begin next episode. So, uh, I don't know how long this episode's been already, to be honest. So, it might be a short one, but this was mostly an introduction to say that the um, series is starting. And this is the first episode of that. So, it won't be fantastic. This episode, in my opinion, is not going to be fantastic, because like I said, it's just the basic start-up episode. So, go ahead, if, go ahead and skip it if you really want. It's not a problem. Um, but if you did like it, uh, feel free to comment at the bottom about what you liked about it. Um, subscribe. You, you get the idea of what I'm about to say. You know all the usual gubbins that you get told to do. or Which is obviously still free choice. You don't have to do it. But it would be nice if you did, I suppose. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop digging, otherwise I'll be down here forever. Okay, so I'm going to stand in my little cubby hole down here and I will say goodbye. I shall catch you next time for more survival series and stuff. Take care. Goodbye.